So we're going to try and discuss independent assortment. Lucy's going to help me out here, okay? I want you to imagine this is a cell, okay? And the spindle fibres tell us it's a cell undergoing cell division, okay? Right, now we're talking about how meiosis creates variation. I'm trying to introduce independent assortment. Right, Lucy. How many pairs of chromosomes have we got here? Let's separate them out. We've got four. Four. So we've got four homologous pairs of chromosomes, okay? These homologous chromosomes are going to line themselves up on the spindle. So Lucy, will you arrange them on the spindle for me, please? Right, so my first question, Lucy, is have you arranged homologous chromosomes? Chromosome number one. Chromosome number two. Change it so the homologous chromosomes work. Great. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, Lucy has randomly arranged these pairs of homologous chromosomes onto the equator of the spindle. And because of how she's randomly arranged them, I hope you can see this chromosome, 4, 2, 1 and 3, and I'm now going to say that the blue squares represent paternal chromosomes, and the yellow represent maternal chromosomes. When cell division takes place, if we're calling this meiosis 1, and this is the first cell division, what will happen is, we will produce two very different gametes, okay? Gamete number 1, will contain large amounts of paternal chromosomes, all right? Whilst gamete number two will have large amounts of maternal chromosomes. There is a little bit of mixing that was caused by the way that the chromosomes, the homologous chromosomes, randomly assorted themselves on the spindle. Now Lucy's gonna make my day today because she's gonna do a second cell division and she's gonna change, well no, she's gonna do it randomly. Would you just rearrange these homologous chromosomes, please? The random, beautiful by the way, the random nature by which those homologous chromosomes have arranged themselves on the spindle has now given us a completely different set of combinations. And when I turn these into gametes again, this time I have different combinations of the different chromosomes on each side, all right? And this is with only four chromosomes. You as human beings have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes and each one randomly aligns itself on the spindle. This gives us our first cause of variation in meiosis, independent assortment, okay?